that he is unlikely to be able to return to work soon? And is the government ready to take key decisions, such as whether the lockdown will be extended in his absence? And given the Republic of Ireland just announced their lockdown will continue until the 5th of May, shouldn't you level with everyone that we are heading for a much longer than a three-week lockdown too? Well, the, the Prime Minister is uh, recovering and I'm sure the whole nation is delighted to see the news that he's getting better. And um, you know, the fact that he was so ill uh, demonstrates once again just how serious this disease is. Um, and, I'm, um, so, and I'm delighted about that. Um, the good news is that the um, government in his absence uh, has been functioning very efficiently, very effectively. Uh, the Foreign Secretary yesterday made clear uh, that we don't have enough information yet to be able to make any changes to the, uh, to the social distancing arrangements, uh, and that SAGE will meet next week, uh, and um, they will look at the data then. Um, and um, the, 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 the way that we make that decision has been set out uh, very clearly and is, uh, is functioning very well. I think the Foreign Secretary is doing an excellent job in chairing the, uh, the committee uh, of, uh, that, that makes these decisions in the Prime Minister's absence. Uh, but th that is within the context of a strategy that the Prime Minister very clearly uh, set out and that we're working through and we're able to get on with the day-to-day -day things like publishing today's PPE plan uh, and do the things that are needed uh, whilst the Prime Minister recovers. Thanks very much. Ben Kentish from LBC. Thank you, Helen.